everybody. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, I'm Nicole. If you could please subscribe to my channel, turn your notification bell on, give this video a thumbs up, and leave a positive comment. I do appreciate it. Um, I do want to mention that I have an active giveaway going on, so if you would like to check that out, I will leave that video link down below. Also, if you're interested in this look, I will leave that link down below as well. It is from the Rudolph Collection from ColourPop. Speaking of ColourPop, this is a ColourPop haul because um, they had a, I think they had like a sale or something going on. So I decided to pick up a few things that I'd been wanting um, because my husband told me to go ahead and get them before they were gone because I have missed out on a lot of ColourPop launches and products because of that. It did come in a big white box this time. Usually it comes in the um, peach colored ColourPop packaging, but it didn't this time. So it's nicely packaged, of course. Um, I do appreciate that they have the bubble wrap. They have this where falling for you card which is really cute my little invoice here so i can make sure that i receive everything and here is a little sneak peek now then the first thing we have is something that is really cute a lot of you may recognize these a lot of people receive these in mystery boxes I, however, did not receive this color, and there was another shade that I didn't receive. They were actually sold out of the one other one, which was purple. So hopefully I can get that one eventually, because then I would have all of the little eyeshadow quads like this. I think these are really cute. They're from Animal Crossing, and this one is called Five Star Island. I love the detailing on this. I just think it is so cute. It does have the shade name on the back, of course. ColourPop is cruelty free. Here is the actual palette itself. It is really cute. And here is the back with the shade information. This actually does have a mirror, which is really cool. Um, and here are the beautiful, beautiful shades. I think this is beautiful. I'm so happy I finally have this because I know they have sold out of these quite a few times and brought them back. So like I said, I'm hoping that I can get the purple one to complete this little collection. But so far, I do have this one. Next, we have something else that's protected here. And this is the ColourPop Miss Bliss Pressed Powder Eyeshadow. Of course, it has the information on the back with the shade names. I love the little heart detailing on this. I am a sucker for hearts. And I do love peach and pink toned items, especially makeup. But I do love it all, honestly. But I do tend to go crazy for colors like these. They're just beautiful. Look at the detailing. And the colors are amazing. It does have a mirror, but I do have that covered up. And this is what the back of the palette looks like. Just adorable. I really do love that I'm able to add a little bit more to my collection. Now, I recently hauled the palette for this a while back. And I finally have... The Super Shock Highlighter from the Barbie ColourPop collection. This is the Malibu Barbie collection that they had. This is Beach Party. I'm so excited to have this. I really do love this. I love pink, of course you know. And I fell in love with the Barbie collection. This is a good size highlighter. This is 9 Point zero grams or 0 0.32 ounces so this is the larger one it does have a mirror and this is the beautiful marble swirl kind of shade there's golds and coppers and it's just absolutely beautiful 
Now, um, I'm not going to be swatching anything. I will be saying saving that for an upcoming video. So if you have a special request for a particular product that you would like to see me swatch, or maybe I'll just do a try on video for ColourPop, um, just let me know down below. The next thing we have was like this, but hopefully it is okay. It was half in the bubble wrap, and I know that can happen sometimes in transit. But here is this beautiful, beautiful Bye Bye Birdie palette. I've always wanted this palette, and I'm so happy I finally have it. Information, of course, on the back. Um, anything birds, I love to get because it reminds me of my grandma. Um my dad's mother so I do like to get that kind of thing for her um, it does look like a shade is busted so I will try my best to be careful of that most of it is stuck to the shade saver but here is the rest of the palette I don't want to make that shade fall out but this is absolutely beautiful um, I will probably just try to Press that shade back in there and not mess with customer service because if y'all have ever messed with ColourPop's customer service, it gets kind of frustrating because it's like automated answers and then you send them what they want and then they ask for it again because um, apparently they didn't open the message all the way or something and I really don't want a coupon code because that seems to be what they do a lot. They give you coupon codes. For damaged products but the next thing was nicely bubble wrapped and protected well and this is the garden variety palette and like I said a lot of these were on sale which is why I picked them up I do have a blush from this collection and I believe like a gloss or something that I haven't tried yet and maybe a shadow that I received in a mystery box so I'm hoping to maybe pair those up soon and do a video but here is what the outer of this looks like. And I just think it's beautiful. And here is what that one looks like. Just beautiful. Such pretty shades. I'm in love with them. Um, I do know that um, when it comes to flowers, it also makes me think of my grandparents because they loved planting flowers and so it's nice to bring something, um, that reminds me of them into my collection. Now, this last thing I'm really excited about because I typically don't buy the full-size palette, which is their big pan palettes, but when I seen this, my husband told me that I better get it because he knows I'll be disappointed if it sells out. Um, this happens to be my third full-size palette from ColourPop. I do have other hauls that I will leave linked down below along with some eye looks that I've created. Just that way you can check those out if you want. But this is the Smoke and Roses palette. This palette is beautiful and it has raised detailing on the carton itself, which I think is really cool. And it has all the shade names on the back. This is a 30 pan palette, I believe. And of course, like I said, you all know by now that I just really do love pink and mauve tones and that type of thing. So this is just beautiful. It had a shade protector, protector, of course. It does not have a mirror, but that's fine. I have plenty of mirrors around me and hand mirrors from Dollar Tree. I recently picked up more of these hand mirrors in newer colors, which I'm excited about. There's a peach tone, a blue tone, and I think um, a pink or something like that. I would have to look, but I've been trying to collect those mirrors and I just think they're beautiful. So I don't really need a mirror in this palette. It has that detailing, of course, on the inside of this don't mind my hands I have been doing a lot of videos so I may have nail um, eyeshadow or glitter or any type of swatches or staining from it so just ignore that but this is the beautiful palette I just can't get over the shades here they are for you up close and I'll try to kind of do this so you can see how they look in the lighting they're just breathtaking 
Um, like I said, I'm not going to do swatches, but I will be doing videos soon. So again, for this haul, um, I picked up the full size smoke and roses palette. Just, just beautiful. I wanted to get the brushes, but I did hold off on those. Um, the next thing is the garden variety palette. Just beautiful. The Bye Bye Birdie palette. Hopefully I can fix the shade in that one. The Miss Bliss Nine Pan palette. The Super Shock Highlighter from the Barbie collection. This is Beach Party. And then the Animal Crossing Five Star Island palette. Um, again, um, thank you so much for watching. Um, I do have an active giveaway going on, so please check that out. Um, I want to say thank you all so much for watching. If you are new, I'm Nicole. If you could please subscribe to my channel, turn your notification bell on, give this video a thumbs up, and leave a positive comment. I do appreciate it. Always remember to have love in your heart, put a smile on somebody's face, and do something kind for somebody, because you never know how much it may mean to them. As always, I love you all so very much, and I'll see you next time. Bye.